Hey, what's up? I'm Matt. Welcome to the Diamond Report. This is Brian. And Brian and I are in Toronto tonight to talk to a band by the name of Zhu Zhu. Jamie Stewart, who is the frontman of that band, has agreed to sit and chat with us for a few minutes about uh, a record that they put out just a little while ago that is called Dear God, I Hate Myself. It's a pretty weird title for a record, but you know what? It's pretty weird music. Jamie Stewart's going to chat with us tonight. Let's go talk to Juju. So we're sitting here with Jamie of uh, Juju, who is in town in support of uh, a record called Dear God, I Hate Myself. He's on uh, the road with Deerhoof as well, and uh, I know that you've got a bit of a personal connection with Deerhoof. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Uh, actually, with, with all those guys, they uh, basically helped us get the record deal that we've had for the past eight years, and uh, John has played on um, a couple of our records, and Greg produced the, the last three records that we did, and we've played shows together for a thousand years. Pleasure, and I know that uh, I had talked to you in email before about being fans of Joy Division. What can you tell me about the unknown pleasures? <laughs> uh, that whole uh, concept that kind of came up. Um, it's a nice segue, by the way. Uh, we had been asked to play this festival in uh, Austria that we've played a couple times before called the Dunno Festival, and uh, this year they asked us to do a kind of quote-unquote special show, i.e., just not our regular shushu set. Right. Um, and uh, we didn't have a lot of time to get it together, so we were trying to think of something that would actually be plausible to do, but that people would like and that we could yeah. attach ourselves to. And um, Dierov happened to be in the same part of Europe at the exact same time, so we asked them if they'd be interested in doing it. And they played the festival before, too. Did you guys so jam that whole record before? Or was we, it had, we had a couple days to rehearse it in Vienna and then um, played, played the show there and then did one in New York. And um, we might play one song tonight. We're oh, really? Yeah? <laughs> we'll see. No shit. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, we'll see how it goes. But it's, it's been real fun. Very nice. Um, I know that you've collaborated in the past with uh, the likes of Liz Harris uh, of Grouper and done you know, some different splits with other artists. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody that you're planning on collaborating with or someone that you'd like to meet? Uh, Eugene Robinson of Oxbow and I just started working on a record together, which I'm incredibly excited about. He's nice. one of my favorite singers of all time. And I'm not singing on it at all, just doing the music. Right. So it'll be an interesting, different sort of trajectory for me. And uh, uh, Jonathan Myberg from Shearwater and I finished a record a few months ago and that comes out right next week. Blue Water... Oh, Blue Water, White Death. Right, yeah. Right. Um, Great film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those have, those have been kind of the, the two big ones I've been involved with. Nice. Very cool. Uh, the title of the record, if that's all right. And, of course, there's been a little bit of uh, chat about the video. Um, I thought that it was kind of ironic that we're sitting in front of a church. Uh, the <laughs> and uh, the title of the record, Dear God, I Hate Myself. What, what can you tell me about the title of the record? Oh, it's just about what it sounds like it's about uh, just um, a rough time and exclaiming to God not knowing what to do next essentially right um, uh, you know, it's an, an something that most people on earth go through at different times and it's just a small attempt to make uh, that very negative but frequently really private experience just a, a tiny bit more public right the video had uh, kind of stirred up a different uh, perspective that I had read that maybe somebody thought that maybe she was being, uh, you know, objectified or something totally like that. Totally ridiculous. Which, I know that I've, I've read that she had said that that was silly too, that she had... It, the, she, the whole video was, uh, was Angela's idea, uh, and the, the, <laughs> the positive, <laughs> the idea that I could force Angela to do anything is preposterous. Right. I think, I, people's assumption about that, I think, unfortunately, I can't. We, Angela and I discussed it at length. I couldn't think of anything else other than people just being racist about it. Because right. Angela is is Asian, that you know, an Asian woman cannot decide to do anything yeah. outlandish unless she's being forced to do it. I mean, if it was some, like, or unless she's working with you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, if it was some like white hipster chick, like no one would presume that I forced her to do it. Does chocolate make you happy? 
it's sort of funny that you would bring that up because I cannot eat it anymore under orders from my doctor. <laughs> so really? it's become, which it used, I've become totally obsessed with it. I got to be friends with this band in Italy and they're from one of the big chocolate cities. So I would spend right. all the money I made on tour on chocolate, but I <laughs> ate so much of it that it was actually giving me respiratory problems. So I can't eat it anymore. Such a lie of the tip of your gun. What song would you have played at your funeral? Oh, Hail to the Chief, probably. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's. Do 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 do. As the, as they roll you in. Yeah, that would be, that would be good. That's Where do you go after this tour? What's next for you guys? Uh, we go straight to Europe, and then straight to bed. <laughs> do some hibernating for a yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> pretty. It's this year has been incredibly busy. We played in a lot of exciting places. We played in China, and we played in. Uh, Korea and Israel and a lot of and Mexico, a lot of places we don't usually get to go to, but it's, right. it's been exhausting. It's so exhausting getting to see the entire world. I'm yeah. such a fucking baby. Yeah, yeah, it's a rough <laughs> life, isn't it? Yeah, poor Jamie. Well, we're glad that uh, you made it here to Toronto. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.